Hi, this is Jesse and you're watching Street Photography with Jesse Acosta. And this is the gear special I've been promising you guys about. Um, we're going to go over the equipment that I use uh, and just tell you a little bit of why I chose uh, the gear that I've chosen. Uh, it doesn't mean that you have to use the exact same gear, but I'm just going to show you whatever works for me. And hopefully you can make a decision of, uh, as to what equipment might work for you. So uh, let's get started. So the last camera I've been using for street photography is a camera that um, usually that usually I wouldn't I wouldn't use uh, for street photography because I have some specs in mind that I want uh, in a camera, and they have to have a, a, a soft shutter sound, um, something that's not gonna scare people. Um, so um, this and for the most part, most uh, SLR cameras, whether film or digital DSLRs have a loud um, noise when you take a photo because of the mirror slap it has to do a lot of things so the mirror slap is like what's going to cause the, the loudest uh, sound um, and then um, and then the shutter after that um, so I decided to give it a try and uh, it's it's a very good camera to learn uh, uh, how to take photos manually uh, but it also can take uh, the photos automatic for you. So this is the Canon AE-1 program and um, if you set your shutter to program and your aperture to A, which means automatic I guess, uh, on this lens, you can just shoot away and it's going to figure everything for you. All you have to do is focus, it's manual focus. It's, it's a fun camera to take photos, uh, but for street I would be careful and uh, it just depends what type of street photography. Um, I usually use this if I have some uh, architecture that I want to take photos. I don't care if people hear the sound because I'm not taking a photo of them. But um, if I take a photo of someone, either they need to be far away where they are not going to hear the, the sound or they're, gonna, they're not going to notice me taking the photo. But if I'm taking a portrait, it probably be someone that I've already talked to and I know them, uh, or someone that I might not know them, but I've asked him, well, is it okay if I take your portrait? So then they are aware that I'm gonna take a photo, so it doesn't matter how lo loud the shutter is. So very good camera, kind of solid, um, takes great photos. I'll pull some of the photos um, that I've taken, and then I'll show you the shutter sound so you can hear how loud it is. That's too loud. Uh, compared to the other cameras. Yeah, so um, that's it as far as cameras. We saw the two Yashikas, the GF1, the Canon uh, $3.99 from Goodwill, the Olympus OMD, and then the Canon A1. And uh, now we're gonna go into the film that I use. All right, so as far as film is concerned, I've been using the same film for the longest. And when I started doing it, uh, I bought a roll of uh, L4 HP5. It's a black and white film, 400. Uh, all HP5, it's in 400 speed. So I bought that in to test my camera because it was the cheapest, but I found out that I actually was uh, very good. So I've been using that and that's my go-to uh, film, L4 HP5 Plus. Um, this film you cannot uh, take to like Walgreens or anything like that to have it develops. So you have to go to a special place, a photo lab that can process black and white film. So uh, um, before you start doing black and white with this kind of uh, uh, film, check your uh, to see if it, that uh, you have a place that can uh, develop that, or you can develop your own, which uh, um, I, I don't do, but um, you can also do that. And then the, the, I mentioned that my 399 camera has a color film on it, and that one always has uh, Ektar 100. So Ektar always comes in 100 uh, speed. Um, so very nice photos. I'll post some of those. And I'm wondering uh, whether I can probably use that on my uh, Canon uh, SLR, and um, because the, the quality of photos, the photos with this uh, film, they're pretty pretty good so uh, I, might, I might do that and, and try it out so these are my two uh, rolls that I've always used I mean I carry multiple of each 
but it's a uh, HP5 and Ektar 100. Um, I've used Portra if if uh, I um, found extra money on the street and uh, or someone gave me a large amount of money I would use Portra because it's so expensive. Uh, I'm just playing around but it is expensive. It's uh, around $12 where I buy it. Sorry, where I buy it is around $12 a roll for 36 um, images so it is kind of uh, pricey and um, so only on special occasions I would get a roll of that Portra uh, 400. Very nice film but I mean I, you get what you pay for but it's, it's just an, uh, a bit expensive. And uh, since I'm going to be going on a trip uh, to Mexico to do uh, try to do some street photography over there, um, I bought some new um, uh, film uh, that they I was talking to uh, my friend at the camera store here in San Antonio and he recommended I try this uh, 400 T Max um, and I've seen some photos taken with with this type of film and they're pretty good um, so I'm gonna give it a try 400 T Max is, the price is about the same it's just that I've always used Ilford uh, but this is also 400 sp speed uh, so I tried that I got two rolls to try it out so we'll, we'll see how um, these turn out and then he also mentioned uh, the Delta L4 Delta 400 black and white also uh, and he says that this is similar to the T-Max um, uh, I haven't confirmed that but uh, I'm, I'm going by what he's telling me telling me so the L4 Delta 400 it's the same type of grain supposedly as the, the Kodak 400 T-Max um, and uh, that's that's about it as, as far as film. I don't have a box of uh, Portra to show you. Sorry, because it's kind of expensive and I, I haven't bought one. I might um, buy one roll now that I'm talking about it uh, to take to Mexico. Maybe just carry uh, uh, my DSL, my SLR for uh, any portraits that I ask people to take. But if I'm doing candid and stuff, I'm gonna use a black and white and uh, the color on my. Uh, point and shoot uh, camera, film camera. And as far as uh, film, uh, that's all I can tell you, I'm afraid. Uh, I don't process my own film, so I can't go into detail in that, but that's the film I use and uh, already told you why I use it. Uh, now um, I need something to put everything in. So we're gonna do that next. All right, so if you remember from my first uh, street photography video, I had a messenger bag and I told you what I, I carry in there. Uh, well, I needed something um, uh, better, stronger, I found out. Uh, not the hard way, which is good. I just, before something got ripped and, and all my equipment would fall in the middle of the street, I decided uh, it's time to get something that's uh, gonna hold all my, my gear uh, in place and it's gonna be uh, tough. So I did some uh, looking around and uh, I found the perfect bag for me. And it's the Tink Tank. It's the name of the company. And this is the model is uh, Retrospective 20. And uh, it's, uh, it's a very strong uh, bag. Um, the strap is it's, uh, rugged. Uh, you have a little padding over here. Uh, it makes it kind of comfortable. Uh, the coolest thing about this uh, bag, and, and I gotta hand it to these, uh, to the company for doing that, is this little handle. And uh, I keep it inside, but sometimes it's like I don't want to get the thing from the strap, and I just, I just like this. I like that I can just get it like this, and then maybe put it in my shoulder. But I mean, that kind of tells you what kind of company they are. I mean, they think of pretty much everything. Um, so I'm just going to do a, a quick uh, um, overview of the bag. So first of all, here in the back you have uh, a, ba um, a compartment with the zipper. And usually I put the ring cover. It has a ring cover, which uh, I've used. Uh, and it's very easy to put on and uh, put it on and then put it back in here and then just I stick it in here. But I usually keep my photos. Have you seen in my videos where I take photos and give them to the, to the people? Uh, so I keep uh, one of those uh, albums here, right here and, uh, and um, open, but I can sit that down. And then inside, that's where the magic happens. I have a lot of compartments. So I have another compartment over here with the zipper. 
and then I have two compartments right here. That's where my cameras go. Uh, I might have um, my um, my digital, and then uh, my uh, uh, Yashica over here in a case, and then I put it around my neck. So then it, I just have the the Olympus, the the digital, and then I have my uh, a point and shoot three ninety nine dollar um, camera right here on the other side, and then here tucked in, I have my uh, GF1, uh, that's my backup camera. So I have that in here, there's another pocket, and then you can't tell right here because there's not a, a lot of light, but then there's another pocket in here. So you have a pocket right here, another pocket, deeper, and then you have the two big pockets right here. And then you have little uh, space over here to put stuff inside. And then you have this other one for easy access. Uh, it's, a, it's a quite large um, area, and you can put stuff in there. So I'll, I usually put my film right here, and um, uh, I carry ibuprofen in case I get a headache. Uh, I'm out there, and, and uh, if I get a headache, it's I don't want to just come home. I, I mean, I'll take something, kind of rest for a few minutes, 30 minutes, and I get back into it. And then I have some uh, allergy medicine. Um, if you're from... Uh, San Antonio, you know how uh, allergies are a pain in here. So if it hits over there, I, I do, uh, just talking about it, now I wanna sneeze. Um, I wanna, uh, I'll take a, a allergy uh, pill or whatever. And then I keep all my cameras, my film, and uh, that's uh, about it. I mean, I don't take all the cameras with me, all, but I, I'll take, uh, on a good day, I might take uh, four cameras, my Yashica, my GF1, my backup, my main digital, which is my Olympus, and then the point and shoot. And then uh, uh, it depends. Like if I want to try out the, the Canon uh, SLR, I, I'll switch that with something else. Uh, but at any one point, I have uh, four cameras on me just because they're tools and I don't know how the weather is going to turn out or, or the type of lighting or anything. And I just need to be ready with the tool that I need for to do the job. That I that I want to do. All right, so I put my photo albums, my cameras, my film in here, and then there's a, a, another thing that I usually uh, carry with me, and I'll just pull it right now, and it's this. And then you see this in my videos, and this is just my uh, my windbreaker. Um, I told you the bag has a rain cover, and I need a rain cover for myself, and this is it. So usually I can compress this to where it just is at the bottom of the bag. It doesn't take that much space, plus it kind of protects my camera from hitting something. Um, and if it rains, I'll just take it out, put it on, put the rain cover, and, and I'm and I'm good to go. My pants would get a little bit wet, but it's all right. Um, I just don't want to be wet all over over here with the camera. And then I'll switch, depending if I'm using a film camera, I'll put that back in the bag, take out my uh, weatherproof camera, and the weather's not going to do anything to me. So, and so um, one more piece of equipment that I want to show you, and it's one of the most important. And it's this guy. And uh, the videos on YouTube wouldn't be possible uh, without my uh, trusty uh, flip camera. So uh, I owe it a lot to this camera because uh, it's allowed me to uh, to do this these videos for you. you know, right now I'm using uh, my Canon 5D Mark II to shoot the video, but uh, usually all the video comes out of this um, camera or some episodes I use my uh, Olympus OMD also. And uh, today I went to the camera store and hopefully uh, I'm gonna do um, and I got a piece of equipment that hopefully is going to make the videos better. Uh, I'll show it to you right now. And it's it's this. And it's, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a little wand thing. And uh, it has like a tripod mount over here. So what happens with this, you put this on your camera, in this case your flip. And I want to record something right now so you, I can post it. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it has another little piece of equipment. So it, it comes with just this, the little um, wand, or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, and then this mirror. And this mirror kind of goes in here. 
if I can fix it. There you go. And then just tie that up. And the idea behind the mirror is so that you can lift it like that. And then you can see yourself. So like that, I see myself in it, on it. And then this is where the magic happens. This actually stands far like that. And you can twist the camera and fix, fix the mirror. I don't know if you can see that. You can fix it like that. And then and you'll see this video. Well, let me press record. I'm recording that here. And I'm seeing myself on the mirror. And then I'm reaching, let me see if I, yeah, that's it. More like that. There you go. So it takes a while to get used to it, but uh, as you see, I'm talking to you on this camera and then on this camera. So I'm not gonna have my 5D on a tripod <laughs> downtown. So hopefully I wanna do these uh, shots where I'm kinda like talking to you, hey guys, and I'll have this on, on my hand with this little tool, which I liked. And um, um, I have the box somewhere, but it's, it's not something that's uh, available. I, I mean, it's available, you can buy it, but I don't, it's not a, a name brand or anything that I recognize. I think it's one of those one-off companies that just have this little gadget or whatever, and I, I was like, well, I'm gonna give it a try and, and see how it works. And you can just do that, and you'll see the, the two videos, and I'll be doing my stuff and while walking around downtown, and I use the mirror to make sure I'm in the, in the frame. And uh, let, let's try this, let's try this real quick. So I don't know if you can see that, but I'm seeing myself on the mirror. And that's how I can tell what my shots are. So it's, it's, it's a pretty nice thing. And, and, and I'll give you the name uh, on, on, on this video in case you wanna get yourself one, if you have a, um, a camera or anything like that. But uh, that, was, that was neat. Whoever came up with this did a real good job. And uh, that's it as far as equipment, my uh, trusty uh, eye flip. Now with this uh, arm and uh, little mirror, and then uh, you see all you saw all my cameras, and my film, and uh, that's about it. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, it's already got dark here. I'm using my window light uh, as the main source, um, but it's about to rain, so it kind of got dark. But if you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to answer them as, uh, as uh, much as I can. If I don't have the answer, I'll try to make it up. No, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna try to research it and give you a, a good answer. But thank you guys for um, watching the videos. Uh, I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. It's just finding the time and uh, today I had the time and I, um, I wanted to share that with you guys. So see you guys on the next episode and um, thanks for watching this special. So this is Jesse and saying goodbye. Thanks.